are my groceries for the soups that I'm going to be making, and I'm also going to be doing a jambalaya. And all these items can be found here at the Dollar Tree. Just going to make sure that you have a refrigerated section. This is Let Us Eat, and I'm Suzanne Ridgway, and welcome to my channel. How did you all like my new intro? I decided to update it, and it had been a while, and I thought it was fun and kind of cute. I found a really great app that does intros for YouTube, and it doesn't take very long before you have a fantastic opening. I am going to be showing you how to make a broccoli cheddar soup today, and they're going to be ingredients from the Dollar Tree. And this soup is only going to cost $5 or less. And I'm going to be teaching you a different soup or casserole for the next few days, along with my decluttering, organizing, cleaning, Dollar Tree hauls, and grocery hauls, and everything in between to help you get it all done and get more bang for your buck. We want to be able to get all cleaned up for spring and enjoy the nicer weather outdoors and spend more time outside with our families. So let's get that cleaning and organizing done and out of the way. Thursday, which is tomorrow, I am going to be starting my laundry area and we're going to downsize a good portion of the clutter down there. And I'll be doing some video footage of that as I'm cleaning it out. With that said, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using to make this delicious broccoli cheddar soup in my crock pot. This is what you will need to make the broccoli cheddar soup. I picked up three bricks of mild cheddar cheese. I have one small onion, two cans of the cream of celery soup. You do not need the evaporated milk for this. You can use cream of celery soup or chicken soup. It'll work just the same. A whole bag of broccoli florets. And then I'm going to add in three teaspoons of garlic and fresh black cracked pepper. I have my crock pot. And I'm going to preheat it to low. And I'm going to show you how simple it is to make this delicious soup. I'm going to start by cutting my small onion. I like to use onions in my soup. It gives it great flavor. And just kind of cut it in half and then you're gonna cut all the way along like that. It doesn't have to be a perfect mince. Now the onion is done, and I'm going to pop this right into the crock pot. I already put the onion in the crock pot, and now I'm going to open up the cheese. And I'm not going to shred this cheese because it's a thin brick, so I'm just going to cut them up into small cubes so they melt evenly. This is real cheddar cheese, and Dollar Tree does carry real cheddar cheese, so just make sure that you're reading the labels as you pick out the items. Good sized cheese chunks is fine. And then I'm gonna add the cream soups and my spices as well as the broccoli. And I'm going to use the entire bag of the broccoli florets. I was happy to find the florets at my Dollar Tree because sometimes they have the uh, other style. Open the second pack of cheddar cheese. I had bought four bricks of the cheddar cheese because I am going to be making a different video with chicken taco soup. And I picked up their white chunk canned chicken, which isn't half bad. And normally I do my own chicken and roast it and spice it myself. 
but I want people to know, especially on a shoestring budget, maybe you're in college, maybe you're just graduating college, or you're in graduate school, or going to, to school for be a doctor, and you're limiting your food budget, and you can make great things from Dollar Tree Meals. Just got to know what to look for. And I recommend getting a Pinterest account if you don't have one because they have countless of recipes and cheap dump and go meals and you can inquire the food items that Dollar Tree sells to make these meals. I'm going to add the last brick of cheese. This is actually really good cheddar. I have had it before. The cheese is all in there, and I don't need a can opener for these cans. I absolutely love it when they have the pop tops. I'm just going to get my wooden spoon, and you're not going to dilute your cream soup. You're just going to put it in as is. Use both cans. I'm also going to add one boyan cube for flavoring. I'm going to add the boyan cube and then I'm going to put a couple cans of water along the sides of the crock pot. Boiling cubes are a good thing to have as a pantry staple. I buy mine bulk. Now I'm going to add a couple teaspoons of garlic powder. And a couple of teaspoons of fresh black cracked pepper. I already added two cans of water. This will ensure that the cheese will melt thoroughly. This is a quick and easy soup to put together. Here's what the broccoli cheddar soup looks like in the crock pot. I'm going to sit on low for about 90 minutes. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you what it looks like once the cheese is all melted and the cream soup has time to incorporate with the cheese. And I put in two cans of the water as well as uh, two teaspoons of garlic and fresh black cracked pepper. I will list all ingredients below in my description box. Here's what the broccoli cheese soup looks like from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to take some out with my ladle and put some in a bowl and we're going to give some a try. I'm going to have a bowl. Look at that. Nice golden color. Lots of broccoli. You can add carrots in there as well. Whatever you wish. What do you think of it? It's super good. You it? like it? It smells good. Mm -hmm. and this is a very, very picky eater, and they're tearing it up. It's a rainy day, and it's a perfect day for homemade Dollar Tree broccoli cheddar soup. My Dollar Tree crock pot broccoli cheddar soup, a big hit, even for the pickiest of eaters.
If you like today's video for Dollar Tree Broccoli Cheddar Soup, Mmm, it is so good. You give this video a big thumbs up. Also, click on that red subscribe word, because I'm going to be doing jambalaya from the Dollar Tree and chicken taco soup from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be doing an Easter dinner all from the Dollar Tree. So make sure you click on that red subscribe word so you can see what all the buzz is about. And you can get more bang for your buck and have more frugal meals. $5 or less, and this one actually cost 6 because I had bought 3 bricks of cheese.